Do you really need to go to college? Let's get right down to business. Hi, I'm Abby Ganya from Watch Jojo, and today we're going to be talking about five points that may help you consider if college is the right fit for you. So hold off on that student loan for a second and let's jump right into it. Number five, do you need post-secondary school right now? Does your field require a piece of paper to get into it? Oftentimes, students jump right into college only to find out that their field tends to favor work experience over schooling. Or maybe you want to take the seniority route and work your way from the bottom up onto the corporate ladder. So definitely make sure you're looking into what job postings are asking for and determine what level of position you want to start at. Keep in mind that no company with the right mindset is going to hire someone with nothing to show. Number four, are you financially prepared for tuition fees? If you don't have financial assistance, whether it be grants or parents helping you out, are you capable of undertaking such a financial burden? Some people head back to college at a later time because they find they want to have the money to pay for school up front. Others work as they study and pay as they go. Some students even rack up debt and pay it off afterwards. You also have to consider the field you'll be studying. Let's say you study hospitality with a tuition of $25,000. The average hospitality manager makes $47,000 per year, and with the cost of living, it could be a few years until you pay off your schooling. Is that something you want to undertake? Number three, developing your skills and leaving all paths open. If you already have the skill set required for the job, what's your reasoning for going to school? Some may say that they already know how to do the work, prove themselves, and get hired that way. Others feel that, although they know a lot about the field, they could use a bit more theory. Some would also argue that it's protecting yourself for your future down the road. Nobody wants to be at the point where they want to move into upper management only to find that HR wants a piece of paper. Or maybe you find another job opportunity down the road that pays more, but the company is firm on the requirements of having schooling. Never keep yourself restricted. Number two, does your program provide a job placement to help you secure an interview? This is something that most programs should offer. When you take a step back, what is the main reason you go to school? To get a job. Some people go through college only to find that their final year, they don't do job placements or have any aid in securing a job. Now you can say that it's an easy fix by job pending yourself, and that's fine. But with tuition at such a high cost, you should always ensure that you have the ability to secure a job after graduation. Number one, will your program become obsolete with the technological advancements? The world is changing. There's innovations every day. Oftentimes, students get extremely specific diplomas in adapting fields. But ask yourself this, do you have the drive to get hired right away? Your diploma could be obsolete in as little as two years with the boom of technology. If you turn around and spend a year working in a restaurant to pay off your school, you may be shooting yourself in the foot. Always ensure you're ready for the field and you don't delay applying. The last thing you want is to feel you've wasted such a large sum of money on a piece of paper that's no longer relevant. So all in all, is college right for you? You may say yes, you may say no. There are fantastic opportunities that college can open up for you, from knowledge to networking to experience. But college is also a commitment and doesn't fit everyone's lifestyle. Ask yourself where you want to be in five years and if college is needed to help you get there. I'm Abby from Watch Jojo and thanks for watching.